Um, hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to install our Gitbook package. So in the last three videos, I think um, you are able to write your own Git uh, Gitbook with plain text uh, or even with some uh, uh, the text formulas by yourself. But the final goal for me is to integrate the R code um, and the Git and the Gitbook together, which means I need to use R Markdown to write the Gitbook rather than the Markdown file. So I need to use the R Gitbook package, and let's see how to install this package first. Um, the R Gitbook package is written by Jason. Thank you very much. It's really helpful. Um, you can actually um, install this um, package uh, from Jason's GitHub repository by, by clicking this link. Um, this is the uh, repository uh, for our Gitbook. Uh, we can actually install the uh, our, our Gitbook pack, uh, package with the dev tools. Uh, I listed the, um, the steps here. So the first thing you need to do is to install this package. And then the next thing you need to do is to install Gitbook. Um, and in the, the third step is to check uh, to run this function to, to see whether Gitbook is um, installed correctly. Uh, and then you create a new Gitbook. And then you start with um, start with um, working with your um, new Gitbook. Um, but um, I got two errors when when I install um, this package um, directly from Jason's GitHub. I don't know whether it is because I'm using the Linux um, system. Um, but I will cover the two possible errors in the next video and. Right now, I will just show you these five um, procedures uh, fluently in my uh, in this in this video. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is open your um, R Studio um, to uh, include the Dev Tools um, package, and then um, what you need to do is just copy on the code here, which is the same as the, um, the code here. So um, if I run this code, I will use the JSON's um, package. But as I said, I met with two um, errors. And then I fixed that on my own uh, repository called lee-1989. If I in install this, um, this version it will be um, run correctly so feel free to use that and I I will not hit enter here because I already installed the package um, on my computer so after that um, you just uh, you just uh, in install you just include um, this library called R um, Git book. Uh, note that this R is a capital letter. Okay, so um, my next step is to um, actually to install the Git book. Um, so the pr the procedure is on Jason's um, website. Uh, so if you click the uh, installation instructions after you. Uh, require the gitbook um, package uh, what you need to do is to install the gitbook but I made some problems here so I so I need to jump to this section which called uh, if gitbook install uh, installation fails I actually use this command line the sudo npm install gitbook dash g um, on my command line uh, so that I could install the uh, gitbook uh, on my computer. Um, okay, 
note that you need to install the Node.js first and uh, uh, it can be downloaded from this link directly um, okay so after you install the um, git book um, you can actually check uh, your git book with this function in the package I just run this function yeah it says git book is installed and available okay I'm ready to start my project actually um, to start a new git book uh, you can use this command called new git book with the name of your um, git book so maybe you call it a test book um, we click um, enter and let's see what happened um, so uh, as you can see I got a um, new folder called textbook under my home directory and then uh, let's say set this one as the working directory um, so uh, let's first see what happened in my folder actually as you can see we got a textbook folder here we click in we got several um, files called summary and readme um, so the next step is um, or the last step to start with the new project is called the init on git books so I can just run this function here okay cool so uh, let's see what is the different here um, we got some more um, we got some more uh, folders and the files here as we can see um, from this um, textbook folder we got one more uh, two more files we've called section one and section two uh, as you can see from the section one uh, folders we got a um, our markdown files ready to be added so we can click this we can click in this um, markdown file um, we can so the first head is just some um, set up functions actually we can start writing my um, my markdown code here so that we can click a trunk here and we can text some um, command lines here y is equals to um, say like x square and then we can plot um, we can plot x and y so we can just edit um, our, our markdown file in the um, in the R Studio. Okay, cool. So I think that's it for this video. I will show you more in the next video about how to compile this um, R Markdown files in uh, with the R Gitbook package. Thank you for watching.